confirms a deadly mix of heroin, fentanyl, and the elephant tranquilizer carfentanil were confiscated during a drug bust on I-75 last week. Take a look at that. Kendall Cunningham and Malik Bowman are now charged with drug trafficking. There were 174 drug overdoses in the tri-state between August 19th and August 24th. Investigators believe carfentanil was to blame for many of those overdoses. Nine on your sides, Roseanne Aragon has more on where that carfentanil may ultimately be coming from. Roseanne. Cunningham and Bowman are in the Hamilton County Jail. Ohio's Attorney General says that the carfentanil that police say they had may have been made overseas. It's so powerful, a few grains can kill you. Carfentanil is 10,000 times more potent than morphine. It's likely that the carfentanil is actually being made in China and coming in maybe through Mexico. But, you know, all these things can kill someone. Just think about it. I mean, there's only a handful of people that are allowed to have it under, you know, federal law or state law in the state, and most of them are zoos. The DEA in Cincinnati has 14 to 15 agents trying to crack down on its use. We cannot arrest our way out of this problem. This is a medical problem. The state gave Cincinnati 425 extra doses of Narcan as the city struggles with its budget. The EMS runs alone have cost the city 1.6 million in 2016 and we still have several months to go. All of last year was 969,000. The local focus prevention, treatment, and harm reduction. As part of this initiative, 20 community based sessions open to everyone will occur throughout our neighborhoods. Teaching people how to administer Narcan. We must train the whole community to also be able to intervene and save lives. But experts say that's not all. Go get treatment. Narcan isn't going to save them. Right now, we're seeing people getting three, up to three doses, and it's not bringing them back. Now, Kentucky's public health department is asking its hospitals this weekend to stock up on Narcan and also make sure its ERs and ICUs are fully staffed. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.